Hey angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about things you need to take out of your closet. As you guys know, I do wardrobe makeovers all the time with my clients in their homes, and there are common things that I'm constantly talking to men and women about that they need to take out of their closet in order to give them a true picture of what they're physically working with in their closet and also to help them figure out what it is they need to add to their closet in order to give them more versatility and a little bit more fun. Now, the first thing I recommend women get out of their closets is clone clothing. So if you open up your closet in the morning when you go to get ready and you're opening the closet door and you're looking at all the items that you have and all of them are sort of subtle variations of the exact same thing, that's when you need to take stock and try and get some of those pieces that are very similar to one another out of there. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to buy things that you really love and bring you joy and that fit you well, because I know some women just tell me that they buy multiples of the same thing in just different colors because it's so challenging to sometimes find other items that fit you as well as this item that you've just stumbled upon and adore so much. And I'm not suggesting to do that with basics. So t-shirts, cashmere sweaters, things that you can rotate and utilize with different looks or trendier items are wonderful to have in varying degrees and colors in your closet. I'm personally talking about the trendier items or statement pieces in your closet that you may really love and bring you joy, but perhaps you just have so much of it you, it's not possible for you to wear all of those items all the time and probably out of the multiples of these items that you have in your closet, more often than not, you're probably gravitating towards one to three of these items more often than the others. We are creatures of habit that tend to gravitate towards pieces that obviously make us feel the most beautiful or pieces that fit us like a glove um, or pieces that offer a little bit more versatility than others. So let's say you happen to have a dress that's in a floral print or a polka dot or something that's very similar to one another. Rather than having, let's say, five or six variations of the same style dress or the same kind of printed dress, go for the ones that you most often reach for out of that bunch because there will be ones that you reach for more frequently than others and keep those in your closet because those will be the ones that you feel best grabbing on a regular basis. Not only this, but removing items from your closet that you may not necessarily, necessarily sorry, use quite as often as the others will allow you to adopt and bring in other items into your closet that may inspire you or update your style or just make you feel fresh again. Now, the second thing to take out of your closet are pieces that you've only worn once or never worn. Now, I know all of us have been there before. You get super excited about something in store, whether you're with your friends or family, and you think that this wonderful piece in this great print or color or cut or whatever it is that you tend to be drawn towards, you're so excited about it, you buy it, you bring it home, and then you realize when you get home that, oh my God, it doesn't actually go with anything in your closet. I know all of us have been there. <laughs> so while it's not necessarily bad to bring something new into your closet, you don't want to hang on to pieces that you're physically not wearing. And I know a lot of women all have something in their closet that may have the price tag on it still, or perhaps you're holding on to it just in case you may use it again one day, or just in case you finally get that magical piece that makes you want to wear it, or you know maybe you've lost weight and you're finally going to want to wear those pieces. My suggestion is just to get those items out of there. They just add clutter and frustration to your closet and don't really provide any joy or useful value to your closet. And realistically, we as women have so many other things to focus on. We don't need to add more clutter for the eye in the morning to make us feel frustrated. And we don't need to keep pieces in our closet that we physically aren't using. So just take a moment of honesty with yourself. If you have something that's been hanging there for six months or a year, it probably won't get used period or perhaps if it's something that you just don't know how to style but you really do truly love it and you like the way it fits try and ask your friends for help see what they may suggest in terms of how you might be able to utilize that piece or you can also join my style squad on Facebook which I will link down below lots of women post things there as well that they also want feedback on so you're more than welcome to do the same but overall if you have pieces that you haven't worn or that they're just adding frustration take them out of your closet and really ask yourself what it is that made you buy that piece in the first place so whether it was because of uh, advice from family or friends and you felt a little bit pressured or whether it was a pattern or color you were drawn towards or maybe a print 
um, or sorry, not a print, the fit of it that you were drawn towards, try and ask yourself what it is that made you buy that piece that you ended up not being so happy with in the end anyway, in order to avoid purchases like that for yourself in the future. Now, the third thing to take out of your closet are pieces. And I know we all have these at home. <laughs> pieces you wouldn't be caught dead leaving the house in. Now I get it, everybody wants to be comfortable when you're having a lounge laid back day. Totally get it, right there with you. You wanna make sure that when you're still comfortable that you feel good about what you're wearing. I know some of you may think when, you, when I say this, like who gives a shit about what I wear when I'm alone, but you should care about what you think or feel about yourself when you're wearing your clothing. This is not about other people. This is about your own self-perception and how you feel when you're wearing clothing that you wouldn't be caught dead in leaving the house. Now, I'm not saying that you have to buy an entire wardrobe just to be cute at home, but generally speaking, you can still have pieces that are both comfortable and stylish that still make you feel good and allow you to get that snuggly, cozy loungewear feel when you're at home. I'm sure most of us have tried on leggings, so even if you get a really beautiful, like nice knit sweater that you can wear with leggings and snuggle up on the couch with or watch a movie in that you can both wear at home and be really comfortable, but also run quickly to the grocery store or run errands or whatever, <laughs> right? It's something that will translate well in your life without making you feel sloppy. Because I think all of us have been there and I certainly had clothing like this back in the day where I had like these lumpy, oversized, they had holes in it kind of clothing that I would never leave the house in. And every time I caught myself in the mirror when I went to the bathroom or wherever in my house, I caught my reflection in the mirror. My first thought was always, God, I look like shit. That is definitely not something that is worth you saying to yourself when we already deal with so many other negative feedback from media and everywhere else. So please, please, please take this with a grain of salt, but try and only keep things that make you feel really good and really cute at the same time. The fourth thing to remove from your closet is anything that doesn't make you feel good or that you really hate. Now this kind of ties into the last point where it really comes back to our own self-talk. And I get that sometimes shopping can feel really frustrating when you don't find the things that you're looking for or where you don't know where to look. However, if you're putting on things that you are really dissatisfied with in the morning, or if you have items in your closet that you really truly don't like, the chances are they're probably sitting there anyway and you're not really utilizing them. So it's best to just take those items out of your closet. You can store them elsewhere if you want, but if you really truly hate them, just get them out of there. And the reason that I stress this point is that because if you're wearing something that you really truly don't like, maybe you don't like the fit of it, for example, you're gonna look at yourself in the mirror after you put the clothing on and your first thought is gonna be, ugh, like I hate this. And you're instantly going to carry that with you throughout the day. So as a result, it re reflects in your confidence, it reflects how you carry yourself during the day and really overall isn't going to do anything internally for your self-worth. So to me, those items are so crucial to get out of your closet. We don't need those types of clothing in our wardrobe and these can be different items to different people, but anything that makes you question how you feel in your clothing is so not worth it. And the last piece of the puzzle, blah, blah, puzzle? <laughs> the last piece of the puzzle, the fifth tip is to remove Moon. Oh my God. <laughs> Remove anything that is worn out or damaged. It really can affect our overall aesthetic and our ability to look polished and put together during the day. Now, this is especially crucial for those that are in the business environment because when your look is outdated, people also assume your skill set is too. Now, that's not to say that things don't get scuffed like shoes or things start to wear gently. I'm talking about items that have clearly had a lot of TLC over their years, and it's just time to let that loving piece <laughs> go. Now, obviously all clothing will get to a point where it becomes worn out or maybe eventually it becomes damaged whether by accident or just through the general wear and tear of our clothing. But when something starts to become that way, make sure that you make a shopping list for yourself for exactly what it is that you need to replace. And the reason I always suggest a shopping list as you have heard me talk about in multiple of multiple videos of mine is that because that way you'll know specifically what you're looking for when you're shopping. So it will avoid the impromptu shopping purchase that may come back into your closet and no longer go with anything that you currently have. 
Anyway, guys, that's it for this quick little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the little red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to come hang out with me on Instagram as that's where I tend to be very active, as well as my Facebook group, The Style Squad, where thousands of women are posting their daily outfits, shopping finds, outfit inspo, etc. It's a really good, feel good, positive group. And of course, if any of you want private style information or style advice from me, the stylist, and also feel welcome to hit up my website where I've got a lot of online style services. And other than that, guys, I love you so much and I'll see you again very soon. Mwah.